Hey guys, our decline, average picker. So we've got an Albert LaBelle lock. We are going to try to uh, get through. This one, I believe it's called Beasting. Um, we'll double check it on the key whenever we go to pull it out. If we get through it, um, well, we'll see what we can get. Um, because of the keyway, um, we're gonna be going bottom of the keyway tension. I did, uh, I spent about two minutes with it, um, top of keyway, trying um, kind of clockwise and counterclockwise. Uh, and the problem was it felt a little snappier wanting to go counter with top of key weight, but slowly my tension wrench was actually just bending through the warding. Um, so it was making me feel like I was getting more progress than I was actually getting. Um, so I figure we will go with bottom of the key weight. Okay, whoa. So we've only hit a couple pins and we've already fallen into a bit of a false. So let's see, that's we're on month three right now. Three just set. The uh, warding is such too that if you hit the warding, especially if you have, okay, I'm number five now. If you have any kind of a twist going on, it reads like um, counter rotation feedback very quickly and easily through the lock. So I'm being a little tentative here. And hopefully we can get this in before, uh, oh, I just dropped stuff, <laughs> before the dog wants to go out for her <laughs> run. I meant to actually get this picked yesterday on cam, or try to, I guess I should say. Um, but I am taking care of a Great Dane, and there we go. All right. When we were in that false, it felt like we were just kind of barely hanging in there. Um, and guess what, guys? Hey, <laughs> used another one of my homemade picks. So, happy about that. Anytime those turn out to be useful. Um, I went with one of the homemade ones because of that <clears throat> because of that warding. Um, I don't know if I'm going to potentially be bending around a lot of warding. I'm finding that I'm gravitating towards using my own stuff because I'd rather bend a pick I made than one that I bought. So here we go. So we got the LaBelle bee sting. And let's see if we just just pull this tape straight off. Uh, no, this one's not sheathed at all. We'll have to undo it the old way. Uh, yeah, but yesterday I'm taking care of my friend's Great Dane and uh, ended up just running around having a lot of dog time. And so did not get much, uh, didn't really get any picking done like I meant to. So maybe today we'll get a couple things. Um, it's got kind of a Wow. Slight last minute, uh, little existential video <laughs> sort of maybe to do. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm need to hear back from somebody who's a little frustrated with picking. So <clears throat> there's our bidding. Not too terrible. Bring it up this way just to give you. A I hope this fits because I think the other screwdrivers are in the other room. Yep, we're good. It's always fun to pick up Albert LaBelle lock. <clears throat> I'm kind of starting to imagine that Albert LaBelle's home is just boxes and boxes of these black bags. That's the way I envision it, envision it in my head anyway. He's just got a whole room full of like, you know, those uh, like maybe boxes that paper come in. <laughs> and they're just all full of these black bags. <laughs> and then he's got another room probably that's just full of locks. So, a little five pinner. Let's see what we got. <clears throat> Okay, so we got a standard in five. We've 
got a kind of single serrated pin in four. Standard, standard, and a serrated in one. Check the core out here. So one and two seem clear. We've got undercutting. Pretty nice undercutting on uh, three. And a little bit, yeah, we've got a little bit of undercutting on four. Five. Um, it could just be me. I need more coffee. It doesn't feel quite as deep as the undercutting on three. Um, it doesn't look like anything is going to be done upstairs. So let's see what we've got going on. Oh, we got a little uh, little wedding cake. On one, got a kind of spool on two, three is a big serrations, or lots of serrations, uh, serrated on four. And wow. Oh, okay. Wasn't expecting that. Uh, we've got like a, we've got a pin and pin on five that has some slight tapering on it. And I wish I had paid a little more attention when I pulled it out. I'm pretty sure I've got the orientation on it though. And it looks like all copper brass, whatever it is, springy is going on in there. Okay, so let's get the camera flipped around and we'll take a look at this. Okay, so here we go. So you can see we've got uh, standards in two, three, and five. And our core, we've got undercutting on three and five. So that's gonna line up. Got those two guys going on with that. One, we've just got some. Is that one, two, three? Three nice big serrations on it. And our other guy was four. We've got one big kind of spooly serration on it. This is interesting though. This doesn't seem quite to correlate to the false um, I was getting very quickly. But uh, so our five driver. And maybe this was the reason, is a pin and pin. And I'm pretty sure this is the way he was in there. I do wish I'd paid a little more attention um, to when it was coming out. I saw what I was like, okay, that just looks like a slightly reduced diameter pin coming out of there. Um, and I just kind of let it pop out. And lo and behold, it's a pin and pin. So, I don't know, I guess... Could do something like that, maybe. Um, it's kind of interesting looking at that way, anyway. Um, but I'm pretty sure I have it the right way. But LaBelle does watch some of these videos, so uh, maybe he will remember amongst the countless uh, challenge locks. Or it is titled, so maybe I can find it online. Double check that orientation. And then... Big, good, clean serrations on four there. It's very nice. And we've got this serrated kind of spool. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Is that another? Oh, we got another pin and pin, guys. So he definitely, he was in there like this. So those falses are starting to make a little more sense now. <laughs> um, because they just kind of kept occurring. And that's interesting. Okay, so yeah, so that's a pin and pin. And there's our number two. Focus seems a little messed up, I wonder if 
There we go. Maybe that helps a little bit. And here's our little wedding cake as the number one driver. Um, Lock Lover, who has been on quite a little hiatus, hopefully he comes back. He kind of turned me on to these uh, and cutting some of these, and I kind of I really like them. They're kind of neat. That reduction gives a weird kind of down partial turning thing, but yeah, I really kind of like those little wedding cake pins. So yeah, this guy, well, if he's like that one, he could have been twisted that other direction. Could have been that way, but we will look online uh, and see what we can find out. So we get them all back together right. So, but yeah, that definitely explains the falses um, that we're showing up because that didn't quite seem to correlate to the pins. So and that's interesting too. Like, you know, you form kind of a mental picture. I've talked about that before. And I was like, okay, so we're dealing with not too terrible cut within a millimeter of their life spools, but I was expecting some pretty fairly deep spool elements in a lot of these. And uh, I guess we were just being fooled by these pin and pins like we should be. All right, guys. So there we go. That is the Albert LaBelle Bee Sting Lock. So uh, thank you, Albert, for pinning that up. And this was sent to me by Jeff, I believe. So thanks, Jeff, for having uh, packaged this up and sent it to me. So we will get it all uh, put back together and uh, shipped out to someone. All right, guys. You have a good one.